Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson, and today's review is going to be on Blockers. Um, I have to admit, I really didn't like this movie that much. I mean, it was okay, you know, but it's not the American Pie for 2018 or anything like that, which they kind of tried to make this movie out to be, which it, it was not at all. It was kind of like American Pie from the parents' perspective, um, which the parents were fine in this movie. I mean, the movie's not a bad movie. I mean, it's really not made for a, for a guy like me. I mean, that doesn't have any kids, or especially grown-up kids, because, you know, this movie's about... You know, these girls making a sex pact that they're going to have sex on prom night. You know, and to me, it made me feel uncomfortable and weird. You know, I didn't want to watch that. Um, but to watch the parents be ridiculously funny was funny. Um, but some of the jokes really didn't land for me, I guess, maybe because I'm just not a parent. And I didn't really get it. You know, I mean, I got it, but didn't feel it like a parent would feel you know, in these situations. Um, I understood the humor, but the humor really wasn't for me. You know, it was for parents. And I'm not a parent, so it, it's not made for guys like me. But I still enjoyed the film. It was entertaining. Um, don't get me wrong. You know, at least it was from the parents' perspective. If it would have been from all the girls' perspective, and, you know, which it was some of the movie, you know, it was about their pact and, you know, losing their virginity and all that kind of stuff, you know, which is fine and dandy, but I just don't want to know about it. I don't care, you know. It's just I really wanted to see the parents interacting and acting stupid. And John Cena has proven himself time and time again that he's actually a good comedian. You know, not only is he, you know, a big, fit athlete trying, not really trying to be the next rock, um, but no, no one will ever touch that. But, you know, he is funny in his movies, you know, even if it's just a small part. Um, that I feel like this is one of his bigger parts, you know, we're getting ready to see his serious side, um, which I hope is a serious side in the upcoming Bumblebee movie that's coming out in December. Um, so we'll see how he does in that as far as acting abilities. But as far as his comedic roles, like I loved him in Trainwreck, um, that, that, role for him was perfect. If you haven't seen Trainwreck, I definitely suggest seeing that because that's a great movie by Amy Schumer. Um, and I love her humor, so that's a good movie. But this tried to be funny, like American Pie funny, and I felt like it just felt flat for me. Um, like I said, there are some great funny mo moments in this movie where I was literally busting out loud laughing. I mean, hilarious. But that doesn't make it a great movie. It just means it had some great comedic parts. Now, I did discuss with some friends of mine that are parents, and they absolutely love this movie. In their opinion, this movie's eight or nine. You know, it was high up for them because they got half the humor. And I totally understood that and was cool with them, you know, finding enjoyment in the movie. So I'm glad that they, they liked it. And to be honest, if you're a parent watching this, you are probably going to like this movie. If you're like me and, you know, don't have any kids, you're probably not going, you might enjoy the movie, but, you know, it's about them trying to stop their, you know, teenage daughters from having sex for the first time, you know, and that, it's not something I really care about or we even want to see. So, you know, it, it wasn't for me what I, how the movie was marketed for me. Um, like American Pie is a classic, you know, coming of age movie. This tried to be that and it, American Pie has a certain kind of magic to it that makes it special and funny and everybody can relate to it. Where this one is made for a certain group of people and if you're not in that group you might not find it as funny as the people that are actually in that circle. But anyway, that being said, I did have fun watching it and it was entertaining so I'm going to give this movie a 6. Um, but that doesn't mean that you won't give it an 8. Um, if you're a parent, you'll love it. If you're not, you might still love it. All movies are subjective, so I'm just giving you my opinion, um, but don't take my word for it. See it for yourself. You'll at least be entertained and uh, laugh a little bit. So, um, And then tell me what you think of the movie in the thoughts and in the comments below. 
And uh, do you plan on seeing it? You know, are you a parent and have seen this movie? Let me know what you think. Have you, are you not a parent and have seen this movie? Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it because I'm interested in your opinion. So that being said, remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And as always, make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember, the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!